following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. This is the War Machine Rhino, the last ever ECW World Heavyweight Champion, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. Keep listening, or you'll get gored in half. Esposito's Pizza and Pasta. Check us out at one of our fine locations, 930 Route 34 in Matawan, New Jersey, or 233 East Main Street in Manasquan, New Jersey. From pizza and salads to pasta and buffalo wings, we have something to suit every member of your family. Whether you're seeking to take out, delivery, or you just want to dine in, let us do the dishes as we will be more than happy to take care of your next meal. Our courteous and friendly restaurant staff is here to meet and exceed all your expectations. We promise an enjoyable experience each and every time we serve you. Try our award-winning Sesame Crust Pizza, our recent winner at the Las Vegas Pizza Open. Visit us online at sesameseedpizza.com for store hours, menus, and phone numbers to one of our great locations. Esposito's Pizza and Pasta, so close to eating at Mom's, but without all the yelling. Hey, this is Bruce Pritchard, and you are listening to Damage 365 Radio. But I need you to know something. Just because I love you doesn't mean I like you. Hey, wrestling promoters and booking agents. You know where you can get inexpensive prints of your higher talent? Right here at Fast Copy Printing Center, located in the Pearl of the Bayshore. That's right, whether you need 8x10s, 11x14s, posters, long format, or even weatherproof signs, we can do it all. We also can create promotional items for your business, such as pens, business cards, drink koozies, banners, or just a coffee mug. Stop on down to Fast Copy Printing Center, 81 Broad Street in Keyport, New Jersey, or call us at 732-739-4646. No job is too big and satisfaction is guaranteed. Tell them, Damage 365 sent you. This is Lanny Poffo, formerly the genius full of glory and renown. You are listening to Damage 365 Radio. The Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore, selling wrestling memorabilia from all around the world, including WWE, Impact, ROH, Japan, Mexico, and the Indies. They sell action figures, lucha masks, t-shirts, trading cards, magazines, DVDs, autographs, collectibles, vintage video games, and more. Stop in to get tickets for local independent wrestling such as UWA Elite, CZW, and Synergy Wrestling. Located indoors at the world-famous English Town Flea Market, Blue Building, which is 45 through 48, 90 Wilson Avenue in Manelapin Township, New Jersey. Open every Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. all year round. Visit them at Facebook at facebook.com slash Funkenstein, Inc. New Jersey's largest wrestling store is the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore. Tell them Damage 365 said ya. Attention, attention everyone. This is Allie and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order.
We are back with another edition of the All Night Long Wrestling Podcast. And before we go any further, Joe, you ready to press play? Always. All right. Three, two. Wait, we're watching porn, right? All right. Let's do the intro again. All Night Long Wrestling Podcast. <laughs> press play in three, two, one. Okay. So. Everybody, welcome to another edition of the All Night Long Wrestling Podcast. We are your host, he's a stallion. I'm the enforcer. We're doing things a little bit differently this week. We are doing a, some may call it a watch along. Um, we're not going to call it that because I, everybody does this now, right? All these famous podcasts, what you do is you get two guys, you watch a show together, you talk about it. It's, it's cool, it's hip, it's neat, it's trendy. You know when this trend started, Joe? Um, no. I don't have anything weird to say. 2015. You know who it started with, Joe? Oh, us, right? We did yeah. this? Yeah, that's right. We did this first. So if you go back into our YouTube, the first ever video we did on YouTube was you and I sitting Mystery Science Theater 3000 style watching Halloween Havoc 1991? Yeah, Chamber, Chamber, Chamber of Horrors, I think. Chamber of Horrors, yeah. So... We did that before everybody, so um, suck it because that was our thing, okay? And you took that from us. So now here's what we're doing: we're we're uh, we're, we're turning things around now. We're kind of getting into we're doing a, um, not a classic show. We're doing a new show. Progress. <laughs> I'm also sick, so you're gonna hear a lot of that. Uh, progress chapter seventy six. Hello Wembley. Joe and I are watching the main event, which featured. Walter taking on Tyler Bate as he defends his uh, progress title. Now, this uh, this show was their biggest show ever. Hello, Wembley. They, Wembley Arena, Wembley Hall, whatever you might have called it. Um, it was their biggest show of all time. They were able to sell it out, and it was uh, probably definitely, definitely their best show of the year. Um, there were plenty of matches on there. Dunn versus Dragunov, Walter versus... Um, Multiverse Tyler Bates we're watching right now. Andrews versus Eddie Dennis in the TLC match. Really, really good show. But, Joe, is it fair to say this is your first introduction to Walter? Uh, I've not seen much Walter. Yep. Um, I know he recently showed up in NXT UK uh, back in January. So I've not seen not seen a lot of Walter. I uh, have seen a bunch of Tyler Bates. Uh, is there – they're just getting started here doing a little chain, chain wrestling. I have a Greco-Roman knuckle lock. What do you have? That's what I've got. So is there okay. is there a uh, – a backstory to this title match here. I have, you know, uh, I know you're much more familiar with progress than I am. So, um, is it is there a storyline behind this? Is it Walter been a champion for a while? Anything that you want to give as far as a background for me? I've watched probably every single progress show this year. Um, let me see. They. When you watch a lot of wrestling like the, like I do, everything kind of runs together. So I don't want to give away anything. Let me see. I apologize. Where we were. Like that. that's, no, that's okay. Let me see where we were at this point. Um, because Walter, yeah. So Walter was the Atlas Division champion, and the Atlas Division is there. It's kind of like the opposite of the cruiserweight. It is the uh, two hundred five and above title. Okay. So Walter, um. Walter gave that up. And let me see here. So fat 05 of live, you're telling me. I mean that's that's a oh, little that's a little mean. That's a little That's not what they call it. I'm just asking. I don't know. I'm just trying to get myself familiar with the, the background here, that's all. Okay, this yeah, so here's the deal. So at this point, Trent Seven was the Alice Division title, so Walter had already given up the title. Um Walter had beaten uh, man, he is very long-winded. Here we go. That's what it was. Um, Zack Sabre had won the Super Strong Style 16 uh, for the tournament, and he was originally supposed to face Walter. Now I remember. He was originally supposed to face Walter for the title and an event of his choosing. He won the tournament. He chose uh, Hello Wembley. However, Zack Sabre's New Japan commitments halted that. So um, Tyler Bate won a bunch of matches, and he um, he won the uh, – I believe it was a scramble match. Let me make sure. Put me on the spot here, Jeff. I'm sorry. Uh, 
but we're still doing some chain wrestling. Bates seems to, uh, well, trying to use his quickness, saw, I suppose, to, uh, we saw the matches. Do, do you recall when we saw progress in August, whoever won the three matches on those shows in a row was going to get the title. That was Tyler Bate. It was originally scheduled to be Tyler Bate. And my gut says Tyler Bate was supposed to win the super strong style 16, but he got injured on the first day and he wasn't able to compete. And they had Zack Sabre Jr. win. I think everything kind of it was all's well that ends well at this point for them. And they wound up with their main event, which they wanted, which was Walter versus Bate. And here we go. Um, what Walter, to me, speaking freely, he looks like create a wrestler option five. True or false? He looks like Vladimir Kozlov. That's what he looks like. Okay, I can see Vladimir Kozlov. Did you get the head? The, so... This, I mean, Tyler Bate, his gimmick is he's a big, strong boy. For God's sake, the man is. I mean, do you see his quads, Joe? Is he on the top row posing right now? Yes. Yes, he is. He's very young, um, but and yeah. not that not that big as far as uh, height is concerned, but obviously very strong. Uh, people right. who have seen his work in NXT, NXT UK, as well as Progress probably have seen uh, him do a lot of things like giant swing and airplane spin and things of that nature with two uh, – Two, uh, two opponents at the same time. So obviously he's very strong for uh, somebody that is his size. He's it looks, looks like uh, days. he definitely squats. Looks like Trent Seven and Pete Dunn are in his corner for this match. So I guess that's the British strong style uh, team. Yep, that would be British strong style. Walter working him over in the corner. I don't, you know, I don't want to say I don't know how Walter got over as fast as he did, but you know, he, he's good. Walter is beyond serviceable in the ring. He's great in the ring. His, his look is, you know generic if you will but um you know it works he's a big menacing figure he's part of ring conf um with uh timothy thatcher and now he's part of the nxt uk brand walter was a great champion man when that music hits the crowd goes crazy for him so they're doing some chain wrestling here it's uh tyler bates speed versus walter's size the way it should be tyler bates channeling his inner um junkyard dog at this point but Walter finally got a hold of him, and he's probably going to chop the ever-loving poop out of him. Um, no, I don't want to see that if it happens. I know the butterfly, just oh, he got, he's a big dude. Bait into the corner, bop. You know, Walter sells really well for a big dude too. Just a chop, holy cow! Did you get the chop to the back? I did. Do we know? Uh, I know Bait is very young. I think he's maybe. I want to say like 23 or something along those lines. Do we know how old Walter is? Last night, I think he's 32. Let me check. 32, early 30s, something like that. Yeah. We, we go to a, uh, a rest hold here in the middle of the night. Uh, he's third. Actually, me and Walter almost share a birthday. He's 31 years old. 31. Okay. 31. So he's right in, the, uh, right in the old prime, right in the old primo of his uh, career, I guess. Yeah, well, actually, Boss Rutten, famous MMA fighter, once said he believed his physical prime was age 36. So if that's the case, Joe, we got our future ahead of us, buddy. Uh, not me, but yeah, I mean, you definitely do, that's for sure. You're you you're in your prime right now. Oh, okay. So that means the future is now. Our time is now, like the Undisputed Era. Okay. Help me, Joe. Help me here. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> It, I mean, is Tyler Bate not a modern day Conor McGregor? Look at this kid. Oh, Walter. Will he be foot. throwing a dolly through a bus window soon? That, Listen, I mean, whatever gets him heat. Test the strength here. A little, little whirly bird, huh? A little whirly bird action. Walter with the knee on the back of the head. Oh, stepping on the. Jesus. Look at that. God, just stepping. He's got his. He, he's. Got both of his arms behind his back, just stepping on the back of his head. It's a huge man to be doing this. Just kicking the, the, the tar out of him, Joe. Just kicking the tar out of him. He's doing some serious kicking, that's for sure. <laughs> it was a lug nut. Got to find the mute button on here. There we go. There's the old mute ski. <laughs> it's letting the beard grow. But he's young, so it's like still kind of. 